yeah. Stop eating Lucky Charms. I don't eat Lucky Charms. You should. It is the best cereal. No, I, I disagree. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the best. Alright, clearly this is a fight we're gonna have later. Uh, clearly this is a debate clearly. subject that we cannot agree on. Clearly we're gonna save money, fly fly to the middle of the US, and duke it out in Texas. And we're gonna have slow motion, like, punches. So I emphasize the epicness. And we're not gonna slow it down with camera, no, we're just actually gonna punch each other really slowly. Yeah, totally. Anyway, back to the game. I just sniped a guy. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Is that an actual sniper rifle? Yeah. What the fuck? Do you, do you want to explain the one thing you told me about horse survival games and sniper rifles? I just think this is sort of obvious, like, any time where you can straight up snipe, you're gonna lose some horror. It's true. I, it it I, kinda it kinda puts you more into more in control of the situation, doesn't it? Yeah, you don't All you really need in horror, and there's a reason for this, is a shotgun. Which I because... have right now. I mean look at that. Because a shotgun can get you out of the situation of something you don't know. Things can still sneak up on you, and things can still be far away from you. Actually, the, this was a valid point that I just made right there. What? Horrible enemies, I just used the shotgun to take care of both of them. What? That's why the shotgun works so well in horror, I, though. I, I'm not like, gonna lie, shotgun is amazing in this game. It's, it's my best friend. I use it for crowd control. Well, yeah, I mean for horror, though. I mean, yeah. in general. Why, they, why everyone goes for the I'll, shotgun. I'll be honest, this is... Resident Evil 4 is a fun game to play, but in no means do I consider it really that scary. If anything, this is probably the scariest part of the game. Oh. But... I, I always thought I keep hearing people say it's the best, and I just assume... No, no, it, it's it's really fun. Like, I, I love it. I love playing it. It's just... It's not that scary. Like, you play Resident Evil 2 or 1 or 3, like, they're clearly a lot more scary in my opinion. Yeah. But, I I'm just saying Resident Evil 4, like, it. switched it up. You had a lot more control of everything. I, I, it was really fun to play, but I wouldn't call it, like, scary by any means, except for that one part. But even then, like, that helped me get over my fear of, like, horse or Now, this, this right here is a room that every mansion needs if you want to access your sewer system from any room in your fucking house. You, you think so? Yeah, this is the, necessary. The giant serrated swing plates. It's the only way to 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 get your exercise and workout in if you need to go check out what's happening in the sewers. All the time. <laughs> what? Okay. You're so in. You... I, I should mention we're in a castle. We're in a medieval like castle. All right. So, Gildan, we're going over to uh, the place with the most castles on Earth right now, England. Okay. And we're, we're just going to go raid the Queen's room and go and then work our way through the mansion castle from there and count the number of swinging blades we come across. Do we get to throw grenades at uh, sacrificial rituals? I guess so, but I don't see us then getting out of there without going to jail. Oh, that sucks, because I'm about to do that the best way I know how to. Why, will they all just open fire on you if you don't? Um, if you actually jump down, they'll run away. But the thing is, if you take care of them quick and fast, and in a hurry, you get stuff. You get treasure. And I did not want to jump on the chandelier. Actually, I wanted to go down and loot everything before it disappears. Can I just point out that you jumped off the chandelier onto the ground? Yep. What was the point of the chandelier? Um, actually you have to get to the other side. Oh. I got the good treasure. I thought it default brings you to the ground and I'm no, just like... No, no. Actually, you, uh, you have to use the chandelier to get to the other side on top. I see. And there's a guy right there. No, not a guy. But I trapped him and now he turns on me. Anybody who's left in the room before that closes will attack you. But they drop treasure, they drop really good treasure. 
you see these things on the ceiling? What? It's just weird, creepy statues that they. Oh yeah, in. yeah. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how or what purpose they serve. They're just there. What? Do castles like this exist? Um. Am I missing something? I don't know. Probably. We're going to Spain. Okay. We have to go to first, rural Spain, though. We have to go to the rural to... area of Spain. First, we have to go to Texas for that fist fight. Okay. Then we have to go to England for whatever the fuck I said we needed to look for in England. And then we're going to Spain to see if they have any of these creepy ass statues on the ceiling. All right. This is our new. This is our new agenda. This is our we're new going. objective of life. We got this. Okay. Anyways, this is why we need to go to the other set. Why we need to use the chandelier so we can go up here. I like how you can knife vases. That's uh. That's yeah, man. I mean, this is totally how it works in real life. Totally. We're well, Leon S. Kennedy. We can do anything. I, mean, I, don't, know S. I don't know what's stopping do. the game from having a kick command. But... It does have a kick command, actually. Uh, with those enemies that I kept getting my ass handed to me, you could actually kick them. Just do a straight up roundhouse kick to their face. What? Also, I got a mask. No. Not only was there a treasure chest in a display case, but there is a treasure chest in a display case with a thing in it. Yep. Nobody ever wanted to empty the treasure chest before putting it in that display case. Dude, it, it's, it's the thing that's inside, the thing what? that counts. <laughs> why not Why not just have the mask on display then? Because uh, they wanted to hide it. it in the is, treasure chest. Yes, it's the sacred mask of Spain, even though I got one earlier in the game. But, but here's the question, though. If it's obtainable through breaking the display case, it doesn't really matter if it's hidden. Someone just looking for things can just bust it open. Well, apparently someone took the time to draw a map of all the valuable treasures of the castle. Jesus Christ! This is not well, this is not well planned out if you wanted to avoid a burglary. <laughs> I'll, I'll, here's the second thing. There's a guy that will sell you weapons and stuff. He's known as the, the merchant. Isn't this the guy that if you shoot, he still can show up later? I don't know. Actually, I think I know, he I, I think he disappears, back. but you don't want to shoot him. I mean, he might. I gotta be honest, you don't want to kill him though, because Welcome. like he just disappears. But the merchant is awesome. Rare man. Things on sale, stranger. What, what are you buying? Selling? What are you buying? What are you selling? Ooh. Oh, I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> Thank you. Want one of these, <laughs> dirty boy? I'm sorry, that's way too far. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I apologize. For what? And now I'm, and now I'm immediately <laughs> think of, thinking of Dinosaur <laughs> Planet. <laughs> dinosaur you. Planet. Uh, I'll, I'm going to spoil something for you right now. Keep oh, one of the you. eyes. <laughs> Keep one Thank color you. of the eyes. Okay, I'll remember that. Ah, that, I not that it really matters, because I'm pretty much the only you. one playing this what are you right buying? now. You're going to want to keep one set of the eyes and no offense, after inputting them into the lamp. No offense to people who um, are are really big fans of this, I'm still probably is that not going to stranger? <laughs> it's <that> okay. Old? <laughs> Resident Thank Evil was you. never really your is that you know, old? cup of tea, was it? <laughs> Thank you. Nah. I understand that the controls are half the fun, but it—it's not really like it. It was a good change of pace from Resident Evil, but it changed everything. Yeah, but it's just this control setup that bothers me in horror. I'd rather just go first person and be scared shitless that way. Yeah. The second it goes third person and you give them weapons and you're in the military it's and snar the sniper rifles, and you someone hands you a goddamn sniper rifle, we'll get back to that. I I I. I lose a bit of magic. Okay. Fair enough. 